everyone. We are here with Jenny Halsney, and she's got an amazing discovery to talk about. Hi, guys. So, um, as many of you know, uh, Bobby's written a lot on Swung Over about the history of swing dancing. I myself am a loyal follower of his blog and swing dance history nerd. I contacted him several months ago about Genevieve Bragis because I had a burning desire to know more about who she was and um, what we could find out about her. And Genevieve Bragis was the dancer, the follower that's in all white in the Venice Beach Club. So he very graciously gave me the contact information that he had for her son. And I, over the period of a couple of months, emailed back and forth with him, talked with him, finally got a chance to get together, meet up, and interview him. During that time that we spoke together, he got a real feeling for the passion and enthusiasm that modern swing dancers have for his mother's dance and for the legacy that she's given us in the film clips that we have of her. That translated to a bond where he felt safe to share with me some of her personal possessions. He in fact asked if I'd be interested in having a cedar chest that had belonged to her. I of course said yes immediately and then as we arranged to meet again for the delivery of the chest he said that he had a few extra things that he was going to put in there that belonged to her, some dresses, some costumes. Um, I was very excited to hear about this, but had no idea what to expect. When we finally met up and I took the chest home, I opened it up to see what was inside. And the first thing that struck me was these piles of satin, fabric, light colors. Um, as I held the dresses up one by one to take a look at them, um, one of them in particular made me immediately stop and catch my breath and um, have to go run and look at the Venice Beach clip again because I was pretty sure that what I had in front of me was in fact the dress that she wears in the Venice Beach clip. Um, Bobby and Kate came out to take a look at the dresses and they agreed that it's definitely the same dress. So we're very excited to have all of these pieces of history with us to touch and feel and look at, um, and we're excited to present to you some additional information about the dress soon. So Jenny, uh, she's got a lot of dresses uh, from Jenny Gray's, and she's going to do a big write-up about those uh, in multi-series on her own blog. We're going to look forward to that, and we're going to make sure to put links to it here. Uh, until then, let's take a look at the Venice Beach dress. So it just so happens that the perfect and the easiest place for us to try out this dress is actually here at the beach. So we're here at Manhattan Beach, which is just south of Venice Beach where the clip was filmed. And we're going to be dancing today on a piece of concrete slab that has sand on it. So you can imagine how excited we are. Um, so the shape of the dress here is quite fitted in the bodice, um, fitted in the waist, and even fitted up until the flare of the hips. Um, so you can see here where it, uh, it hugs the body um, along, like I said, the, along the waist uh, until the hips, and then we get this more than, more than circle uh, flare out of the skirt. So we're here to do a little bit of dancing in Genevieve's dress. Uh, we're not here to recreate the beach clip uh, exactly, but we wanted to at least show the movement of the dress, highlight how it moves uh, on an actual human dancer.
why I was given a cedar chest.